Hi guys, Louie here from Holy Collars. Today I just wanted to talk about a couple different collar designs that I make and a brief explanation as to why I do it. So I've put a couple of collars side by side here just to show you a brief demonstration on the difference. So here you'll see a slight taper on this particular collar and then a slight taper back towards the buckle area. And on this particular collar we've got the same width all the way down with these straps that are going to wrap over itself. So I'll quickly show you in the next minute here these two collars wrapped up. Okay so now I have the collars wrapped around itself through the buckle and in through the strap keeper. So you'll, never, you'll still notice that there is a, uh, a slight taper. So this particular one is a two and a half inch going down a two inch width. And I like to pray, place the uh, D-ring next to the buckle in this particular case just so there's more support under the throat as the collar gets a little bit wider. Now this is your typical standard dog collar that you're going to find throughout various stores. Well, it's not typical in the design, but it's typical in the way it buckles itself over. And now we'll go over to this particular design. And as mentioned before, it is the same width all the way around, but those inner straps now lock in itself. And the reason why we do this is now you'll see that on the inside it overlaps itself. And the reason why we do this, this is specially made for those escape artists. So if you have a particular dog that likes to escape out of its collar when you pull it, these type of dog collars are great for that sort of thing and that's why it's designed in this fashion. So as you pull down on here you'll, you'll notice that the way it cinches around the dog's neck has a firm support under the throat and as the dog tries to escape it's much much harder for him to escape through the collar. And that's the reason why we have this type of design.